Wake up, hot dogs. It's Tuesday. Decca and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tickets are on sale for the Blue Chips game at lunch this week. If you have a student pass, that can get you in as well. We need a lot of you there as this is the biggest event at FHS. And make sure you get there early because some items like these might not be there. And today's Trivia Tuesday is, where did Doug's parents go after the Blue Chips game? Or where did they meet? Oh, and Decker Cookies are back open for business and looking forward to seeing you guys there from period six to seven at the cookie cart. Now, I'm gonna send it to the goats. Whoop, whoop. What's going on, dogs? Today's Tuesday. We've got some stories today. So, let's get right into the action. First and foremost, we would like to congratulate Ariana Sierra and her absolute run in her wrestling season. A couple of weeks ago, she wrestled at the regional at Crawfordsville and won the whole dang thing. That's incredible. But the story doesn't stop there. She went on to the semi-state match and placed fourth in the whole thing and punched her ticket to the state championship. Holy! That's an insane run that all of us here at FHS would like to congratulate you and wish you the best, best luck at state. Ariana will be resting at Kokomo in the state meet this Friday. So dogs, you know what that means. Get out to Kokomo if you can to support our athlete in this huge accomplishment. Since we're in a new month here at school, that means that we've got to honor and congratulate our December athlete months of, Athletes of the Month. For the ladies, we've selected Lady Hot Dog Ella McAtee for her success on the basketball team and having multiple great games for the team, including a 20-point game in their first win. On the gentleman's side, we've selected basketball player Alex Farley for his huge success this year and being an absolute threat from behind the arc, scoring multiple three-pointers day in and day out. Congrats, Ella and Alex, for earning the HGTV Athlete of the Month. All righty. It's about time to get into the hot dog action for tonight. The Lady Hot Dogs are playing in a county rivalry game tonight, going up against the Hornets of Rossville. The JV will start at 6 o'clock, and the varsity team will follow. Huge good luck to the Lady Dogs. And last but not least, the varsity wrestling team is wrestling here at home tonight against the Western Panthers. The dogs are going to be putting the bite down on the Panthers tonight. So come out to Case Arena and support our athletes. Good luck, dogs. Whew. I believe that wraps up sports for today. Hope everyone has a terrific Tuesday, and I'll be back with the update tomorrow. But in the meantime, we'll be sending it to Mr. Reebok for the weird forecast today. Morning, hot dogs. I don't know about you, but it was disgusting outside today. With that being said, it will only be a high of 46 and a low of 32. With rain showers throughout the whole day, later in the night, there will be some snow showers. The winds today will be from 13 to 23 miles per hour. That's all from me. Make sure you guys stay safe after school. Have a great day. Now to Doug. Thanks, Eddie. And for today's Trivia Tuesday, you need to email your answer to the Gmail Hot Dog Network. The winner of today's of the Trivia Tuesday will get a free ticket to the Blue Chip game on Saturday. We will also have... Um, the trivia question for Wednesday and Thursday, and we'll be getting a, giving a ticket away each day. Thank you, June Palmer, for giving away these tickets. Now it's time for a very special video our very own Mr. Shalee and Mr. Taylor produced for Reebok of our basketball team receiving a very special gift. What's up, fellas? My name is Anthony C. Hall, and I play Tony, the point shaver in the movie Blue Chips, alongside future Hall of Famer Penny Hardaway and Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal. I know you guys know who both of those players are and they would love to be here, but unfortunately, their schedules didn't permit. Just recently, Shaquille was named the president of Reebok Basketball. So when he heard about this anniversary game, the 30th anniversary of Blue Chips, he wanted to throw his hat into the ring and do something special for you guys. All right, so go ahead. Go to your locker, see what you got. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Uh, Every player 
on our squad rock these. These joints are classics. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go check it out, check it out. Yo, and let's try to get that W on Saturday. Let's go. I'd like to shout out Reebok, Shaq, and Anthony C. Hall for the shoes and all they have done to help us make this game special, as they didn't have to do any of this. I can say for the whole team that we are all very thankful. For, for, today, lunch and, for, to, for today's lunch in lines one and two is General So Chicken, and lines three and four is Assorted Pizza. And a big happy birthday goes out to Logan Barker and Melina Gonzalez. And that's all for today's announcements. Oh. And the Blue Chips game is not just a game, it's the Doug Wood game. And on Fox 59, there's a news story about how Mr. Wood and Mrs. Wood met because it's a Blue Chips game. And they met at an old restaurant, and that could give you the hint if you go look at the Fox 59. But if you didn't know, now you do know. But how do you feel about this, Doug? You're the star of the show. I wouldn't call myself the star of the show, but... Uh, You're the star now. You're the star. <laughs> it's definitely a... A cool game to be a part of and excited to play in it. I just find it funny how 30 years later, yeah, you're gonna I'm, play I'm in the it? one playing it. Yeah, you guys should definitely go check out that Fox 59 news story. It's a great, uh, it's a great segment, but yeah, yeah. That, does it, that does it for today's announcements. Another story began, a love story. My mom was a waitress at Jim Dandy, and my dad went to the Blue Chips game and then went to Jim Dandy after, and she was his waitress, got her number, and then so on, so on. Doug Wood is now a senior, and he's about to wear a WU jersey himself.